Hey everybody, it's Mental Fox and another episode of Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again. We're just outside of this uh, Charleston station, I believe is what it is called. And uh, in the last episode I said that uh, we were going to go into this power station and uh, do some exploring. But I think uh, what I really want to do is um, just get started back on the main story. Uh, I just kind of... I'm just itching for it. I just want some story. That's what I want. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to go right on down here to this place. Uh, hopefully we won't get uh, distracted too much on the way there. And uh, we'll uh, continue on with the main story. But before we do that, I want to hurry back to um, my camp. Uh, because there was something that I forgot to do when I was here last time. And uh, that was to uh, upgrade my machete. And... It doesn't seem like it's that important of a thing to do, but uh, I definitely want to do it um, because I want to. I, I don't know how difficult this little uh, main story quest is going to be, and I just want to try to be as powerful as I can be. And uh, one way to do that is to uh, modify my machete so that uh, it does the most damage. So we are going to go in here to modify. And my machete, well, well, we'll repair it while we're here. Let's repair all of our stuff. That's a good thing to do. Oops, I didn't get this one for some reason. Oh, I am out of aluminum. How about that? Oh, great. Uh, am I even going to be able to modify this thing? Serrated blade. Okay, I can. Good. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently the condition of the... Uh, weapon has to do has an effect on the damage because remember uh, you may remember when I picked this thing up no I, I take it back doggone it I already had this highlighted all right never mind I, I thought that when I picked this up the damage was 29 uh, but then it had gone to the 27 but nope no, never mind forget what I was getting ready to say uh, serrated blade just gives me damage to 31 uh, which is kind of disappointing I was hoping the serrated blade would give me more damage than that um, let's see, this weapon here, standard receiver, that's all I can give it, I can't give it anything else, um, wish I could to have it do more damage per shot, but I can't do that. I've only got 104 10 millimeter ammo, um, and in order to make ammo I need a Tinker's Workbench, and I don't have a Tinker's Workbench here. Um, Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa, what is it? It's a gulper newt. Go for it. Go for it, turrets. Come on, take them out. Oh, is there more than one? Because that one's looking in a different direction. Or maybe it's broken. I don't know. Look at it. Man, this gulper newt is raping my turret. Well, I guess I might want to get out a weapon and uh, help my turrets out a little bit. <laughs> you are not welcome here, sir. Oh, man, he died in the door. Gulper innards. Did he uh, destroy my turret? Uh, yeah, he did, man. I don't think I'm gonna be able to repair it because. Oh, never mind. I thought I was gonna need. Uh... Oh my! Oh, here comes an angler! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Don't come in here! No! Diseased angler. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy cow, I'm doing no damage to this guy at all. Oh, well, he got me on fire. I didn't think he hit me. Oh, get out of my way so I can get out of here. Oh, jeez, get away from me. Okay, heal, heal, dude. Heal, 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 heal. I will try to pull him back out here. To get to my working uh, turrets. Golly, man, he... He takes out those turrets quick. Oh, gosh. Well, this isn't why I came here. <laughs> I came here to get hassled. Oh, that was a neat move he did. All right, turrets. That was, uh... That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. It is, a uh, Dangerous morning here. Oh, man, I can't cure this. Oh, okay. Well, they're smoking like there's something wrong with them, but... This health bar is fine. That's pretty crazy, man. Um, well, let's go ahead and cook these innards, I guess. Make some gulper slurry uh, and poached angler.
can make some more uh, boiled water while I'm at it. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, like I said, um, if I wanted to make some more ammo, which I do, um, I would need a tinker's bench, and I can't make that because I do not have any aluminum. So that kind of sucks, man. That kind of sucks. So we'll have to hope that we find a uh, tinker's bench on our way over there. Store my junk. Junk is stored. Yes, it is indeed. Still carrying way more stuff than I want to carry. But I'm just going to have to deal with it. Carrying all these mines and stuff doesn't help either. Uh, it'd be one thing if I used them, but I rarely use them. Look at these Molotovs I've got. Uh, this probably has a lot to do with um, <laughs> the, the, the weight that I'm carrying around. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just stick with Molotovs for a bit. Just to get my weight down. And then I'll come back to these at some other point, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Probably end up dead. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, rest here to get my health back up. It's free health. Just take a couple seconds, I think. Just kind of silly, let's face it. Boy, my uh, clown outfit is not looking good. It's looking pretty beat up. So you can see down in the lower left-hand corner as my uh, hit points slowly increase. Very exciting stuff. I still preferred the old method of uh, resting in uh, Fallout. You just lay down and tell it how long you want to sleep, and then the amount of health you get is related to how long you sleep, not just a few seconds of sleeping. It's pretty silly, let's face it. So as soon as I get my health back here, uh, we'll get up and uh, we'll travel back to the closest place we could get to, to the um, main objective down there in, uh, I think the town is called Welch. Is that right? Or was Welch where we were supposed to go to find her next diary piece? Actually, I think that's, that's where her next diary piece is, the Overseer. Uh, I should also take a look at my armor and see if it needs to be repaired as well. Okay, come on, tell me I'm well rested. Nope, not going to. Well, it was nice that uh, we were not interrupted. Uh, our sleep wasn't interrupted by a wayward angler. Or, um... Gulper Newt. Alright, let us, uh... Repair our stuff if I can. So far, so good. It's quite a hodgepodge of stuff we've got here. Um, can I upgrade any of it? This thing is already tempered. Which gives me the most protection. And I have a lighter build, which is a good thing for me. The metal left arm... I could paint the metal, which for some reason gives it uh, a lot more damage resist, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, I modded a piece of armor. Ooh. And, um, this thing here is already painted metal. It's already pocketed, which gives me a little bit more amp or, uh, blah, 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 blah. inventory space. This thing... Oh, wow, I'm surprised that I can uh, mod this. Let's mod it. That paint gives us a lot of, um, protection, apparently. And then there's nothing I could do with that. Okay. There. Well, um, and, uh, pretty sure I've got all my weapons, uh, maxed out as far as, um, damage. Pretty sure I do. Yeah, this sniper rifle, I've already got the hardened receiver on it. And there's nothing further to do on that. These other things don't do anything with damage. Yeah, I can't do anything with that either. 
pipe revolver. Which I don't even know if I've been using at all. Okay. One final thing. Do I have a hat in here? I don't know if I kept any hats. No, I don't. I just have a gas mask. So, keep hoping I'll find a hat. Since I'm a big dumb dummy and I sold my helmet. Just see if there's anything we can craft here real quick. I can make diluted stem packs. Okay. Off we go. Back to... Um, here. We'll go here and we'll just take the... Take a path on down. Well, that's expensive, but that's okay. Take a path on down to uh, the main quest here. And uh, see how the story goes. Somebody asked me in the comments if uh, this game ever ends or if it just goes on forever. You know, I actually don't know the answer to that. Um, I'm assuming it's going to have an ending, but I'm assuming that based on previous Fallout games, and this is not like previous Fallout games, so I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, let's um, follow the train tracks. Because I believe the train tracks... No, they're not going to take me there. But they'll at least take me to this road, and then maybe I could cross the river. Got a little bit of music playing there. I'm just gonna rush on by that. A big mysterious smoky mountain over there. Okay, here's the road that I was gonna take. So if I go this way on the road, then I could get onto this road. What are those things? Those weird markers on my uh, compass. Looks like a lowercase l. Is it just uh, tall buildings that it's telling me about? I mean, this place is looking dangerous. This is rem reminding me. Oh, goody. Priority responder message incoming. Immediate evacuation of the First Fringe Church in Charleston is required due to swarming vermin. Brewing in this area does reveal salvage, but well-equipped trained personnel can recover. Civilians should remain clear while the bells ring. Uh, we've discovered Charleston, and you heard that there's an event that's going off now. Oh, and I, I missed my turn. Oh, that's weird. I wanted to go this way. There's a turn-off back here that I missed somehow. Oh, man. I'm try to take the most direct route. Is this the turnoff here that I missed? Oh, okay. For some reason, I got this thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, hopefully this will take me across the river here. And uh, to the main quest. I have a miscellaneous quest up here that popped up. Don't know. Eh, it's just a, uh, it's not a daily quest, it's just a side quest. Well, we will, uh, we'll do that one of these days. I'm gonna turn it off right now. Like I said, I'm just, just eager to get back to the main story of the game. Challenge complete. Explore Appalachia for 24 hours. Okay. Hurrah, hurrah. That's pretty cool looking. That's going to be fun to explore, that big giant thing with the, the shambles next to it. Shambles? I don't know. Alright, we're getting close. Beauty salon over there. Pretty neat looking buildings. Discovered AVR Medical Center. All right, why are we here? Main quest. I learned that a responder scientist was developing an inoculation to protect against scorched mutations. The work was being carried out in a laboratory in AVR Medical. That is why we are here. Let us go inside of this building and see what there is to see and learn what there is to learn. You know this place is going to be swarming with some kind of enemy. It could be scorched. And indeed, it is scorched. Uh, 
They might be walking above me here. Sound that we hear. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's running in slow motion. <laughs> Somehow that was a sneak attack, even though he knew I was there. Hey, what's it? How's it going? I like your... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Stupid thing got two hits off on me. <laughs> that was a... Uh... Petrified. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Turn your back to me. Ooh, kill scorched with ranged weapons. Yay. Oh, we ain't done yet. There's gonna be a lot of them in here, probably. Let's face it. Who's gonna have to make do? Yeah, this place is going to be... Ah, I guess there's a railing there or something that's keeping me from hitting him. Oh, no. Nope. Never mind. Somebody shoot me from over here. Oh, is that him? He's level one scorched, man. Oh, let's see. See if we get it. I'm not gonna get it. No pie for you. Hmm. Ten millimeter rounds and a ten millimeter pistol. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. <laughs> the sounds these things make it cracks me up. I heard you. Where are you? Let me look at my weapon situation here. Uh, I've got the Perfect Storm, my Sniper Rifle, my Pipe Revolver. Okay, I've got everything I need here. Uh, I need to be looking for aluminum. Hopefully that cafeteria tray is made out of aluminum. I don't know if it is or not. It could have been steel. But uh, I am really running short on aluminum out of it, actually. So I'm more than running short. Ah, come back. Nice. There's somebody walking around. That was a weird sound effect. I don't know if you heard that. It was like a big piece of machinery. Kind of scary sounding, I thought. Not much going on in here. The sound I hear must be coming from around here. I see you peeking around the corner there. Come on. Don't be shy. Oh, he was actually looking through the door. Not expect her to be right there. Lots of sciencey looking stuff in here. There goes that sound again. So I feel like I need to hurry. Clear this place out quickly. Do what I do to do what I came here to do quickly because I'm not sure but I think that the respawn is on a timer and has nothing to do with people entering an area don't know whether there's any truth to that or not but it's a theory which means that if I'm in here too long, or if I just happen to be in here, you know, when it's the game server decides it's time to respawn everybody, well then I'm gonna have to fight all these dudes again. Let's go back outside. Does, okay. So whatever I'm looking for is below, on the floor below. Ooh. 
no health in there. Uh -huh. I need to learn what uh, has aluminum. It's made out of aluminum, so I know for sure what to pick up. So I'm going to just... I mean, I hate to do it. You know, it hurts my hurts my heart to leave all this stuff behind. Oh, they got a machete. Don't know if it's better than the one I've got. Because uh, I love to pick stuff up, but um, with the way inventory is in this game. Good grief. This is a level one lock? It seems awfully picky for a level one. But the way uh, inventory is in this game, you know, it's just too much of a pain in the butt. Another clown outfit. Oh, darn it. Um... So yeah, I'm just trying to pick up the bare necessities. Alright, so... That was this whole wing, huh? And, uh... Something else I just thought about. There's no... You know how in uh, Fallout 4... Oh, there's somebody else in here. In Fallout 4... You could uh, look at your map when you were inside of a building, and it kind of gave you a rudimentary map of that building. But this game doesn't do that, which is disappointing, because I kind of liked being able to look at that map. It wasn't the most useful thing, but I, I still liked it. Uh, okay, I feel like we could get out of this space. Did I look in here? Yeah, duh, that's where I just was. Okay. Pre-war money. Ooh, a recipe for Radaway. I don't think I knew that recipe yet. Oops. Radaway. Nice. Speaking of right away, there's some right there. Oh, I could be collecting uh, water. Collect some dirty water. Man, just um, just simply handling the dirty water gives me rads. See that? Five rads? I'm not even drinking it, I'm just collecting it. Man. Okay, I don't... Let's see. Okay, I haven't... I'm trying to... Remember where I've been, where I haven't been yet, so... Yeah, I don't think we went down in here. We went in here when we... Fought that one guy. But I didn't go any further. Okay, this place is getting big. Ooh, glowing fungus. Oh, doctor's bag with a pencil in it. Come on, Doc, give me some health. Hmm, well, at least that doctor's bag has something somewhat doctor-related in it. Jangles the moon monkey. Somebody, somebody put a toy alien on Jake. So it's a bone saw. It's like uh, alien. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, nothing interesting there. Probably take us back outside. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Did you see their body go like flinging across? Oh man. Oh hey. Oh geez. This place is uh, full of scorched. Come on. Peek your head around there. I dare you. 
Come on, I got something for you. Just for you. Somebody walking around above me, it sounds like. Oh gosh, this place is freaking huge. Hey. How did you get behind me? Oh, they're coming from those stairs. I see. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna come back to that. Hopefully remember to come back to that. This place is like split up into different sections and I don't want to miss any sections. Like here's a section down here. The door that I can't get through. Broken door there. And then back out in the main area. Now whatever I'm looking for is on the levels below. A disease cure, that might be something good to have, right? <laughs> this is a piece of music that's playing. I like it. Doom, 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 doom. Spices and stuff. These I doubt are made out of aluminum, right? Why not aluminum? Cafeteria trays? I don't know. Wish there was a workbench around here so that I could, like, scrap them and verify. I'm sure there's somebody out there watching this who knows for sure one way or the other whether cafeteria trays are aluminum or not. So, I'm gonna stop picking them up until I know for sure. Oh man, look at this. Bunch of bullet holes in there. Okay. More weird sound effects. So okay, here's how we go up and down. Let's 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 get what we came here to get. And then after that. We'll have some gravy by uh, exploring. Oh. Ah. There. we're looking for is right over there. We've got a lot of interesting stuff on him. That was... Oh, I didn't even notice. He was a paramedic. Um, that was one of those um, enemies with a crown over its head. So he had extra goodies. Alright. Ooh, look at this. A trunk. I can't remember what blood packs are for. Um, pretty sure I have blood packs in here. Are they? It's listed as health. Uh, I guess it, it does give me health, doesn't it? Doesn't tell me. I guess here it gives me 50 health. So they're good to pick up. All right. Let us look at the AVR Medical Laboratory Terminal. Vault Tech University Faculty Terminal Inoculation Project Overview Purpose Produce a vaccine against the mutagenic effect known as the Scorched Plague Method Extract blood samples from three candidate creatures observed to be more resistant to scorched mutagenic effect Use blood sample analysis to create synthetic antibodies Candidate creatures, fear of ghoul, mole rat, and wolf. Well, at least those are fairly common. These two are. The wolf I've only seen a couple times. Addendum. Project stalled until replacement type T fuse can be acquired. Request filed with responders quartermaster to obtain replacements. Huh. Was that the whole thing or was there more? That's it. Project journal. 
uh, Dr. Claire Hudson. So these are from about six years ago. Uh, it's 2102 right now. So here's one from November 7th. We're too late. I've failed. Wait a minute. Am I going in the right order? No. I was... Oh. These are backwards. <laughs> the oldest one is here. So we're going to start with uh, July 6th and work our way back. Okay, here we go. One brave doctor taking on the mysteries of the Scorched. How heroic. Truth is, I'm alone. I'm more than a little terrified, and I'm skeptical this whole crazy idea will even work. I think the fundamentals are sound enough, but once I start analyzing the Scorched DNA, who knows what I'll find or whether I'll even understand it. But I have to try. If I don't, all the people I care about are as good as dead, and if the Scorched start to spread, I don't even want to think about it. At least I can be grateful we found this lab. It has everything I need, provided I can get all of the equipment working. Hey, I got this terminal reprogrammed, and that's a pretty good start. Speaking of which, I'd better start writing that analysis program. No time to... Damn, there's that scratching noise again. Yes! That's what I keep hearing. I thought we cleared this place out, but I swear there's something moving around in the upper levels. Guess I'd better work fast. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Uh, August 1st. Making good progress overall, at least with the preparation. Got the analysis program finished, and then, after no small amount of yelling, cursing, and kicking things, I finally got the terminal and the symptomatic talking to each other. Well, that's a mischaracterization. Boy, that's a long word. Look how long that word is. It would be more correct to say that I got the terminal to scream orders at the symptomatic, and I got the symptomatic to obey them. Now I get to pour over hundreds of first-hand accounts, personal observations, and any other information we've gathered relating to how the scorched plague has been affecting the local wildlife. If I'm lucky, a tenth of it might be useful. So now we come to it, the crux of my theory. If I can identify the creatures that seem least affected by the scorched plague, then maybe, just maybe, I can figure out why. Then, with luck, synthetic antibodies might not be far behind. Good luck. August 12th. Short entry today. Why? Because I really only did one thing, and it wasn't research. No, my day was spent hiding from a pack of scorched that invaded the hospital this morning. Most of them stayed up on the ground floor, but a few wandered down here. It's a good thing I heard them because I barely had time to hole up in the closet when they started searching around in the lab. It occurs to me that we know almost nothing about the scorched. What motivates them? Do they eat? Why are they hostile toward everything that isn't one of them? Eventually, the scorch moved on. And by eventually, I mean nine hours later. I never want to set foot in a storage closet again. I wonder if we're going to find her body in a storage closet. September 2nd. Thank God for automation. I'm one woman doing... Woman? <laughs> I'm one woman doing the work of a small research team. If not for the computers and machinery here, this project wouldn't have a chance. Speaking of the project, the creatures that show the most resilience to the scorched plague are the mole rats, feral ghouls, and wolves. If I can get a blood sample from each one, it'll be a simple matter to load them into the centrifuge and run the analysis program. With the resulting data, synthesizing antibodies should be a pretty straightforward process. Add the synthetic antibodies to the suspension fluid and presto, instant scorched vaccine. Then it's just a matter of waiting on that phone call about my Nobel Prize for medicine. That's the good news. The bad news is this is old, is this old symptomatic machine. I powered it on and the damn thing blew a fuse right away. Jeff thinks there might be some t type T fuses at the old mining supply store. Hopefully he can send someone to check soon. To hear Maria tell it, those boys in the fire breathers unit are itching to take the fight to the scorched and they're counting on my inoculation to protect them. Blew a fuse. Damn it all so close and yet I'm stuck. Jeff's been out on foraging missions pretty much around the clock, and I can't get in touch with him to request help with the blood samples or the replacement fuse. The fire breathers are almost ready for the big operation, and I've got nothing to give them. If they take on the scorched without being inoculated first, I fear what might happen. I have to confront the possibility that I might never get the chance to finish this work. But maybe someone else can. These journal entries should serve as a guide. I'm thinking I can also rig up the symptomatic to play a message to anyone that's able to administer the inoculation once it's done. That way, if the worst happens, I can at least leave some kind of signpost to help others benefit from what I've learned. Or what we've learned. To help them survive if... If maybe I don't. If maybe I don't. 
And November 7th, November 7th, where we're too late, I've failed. Was on the radio with Maria just now. She's never seen so many scorch beasts. She says the sky above the airport's dark with them. They're not attacking, not yet. Waiting on their scorched foot soldiers to arrive, maybe. Clever bastards. And of course, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel on ammo and stems, so this couldn't come at a worse time. So what the hell do I do now? Down here alone, I might eventually be able to finish this back vaccine. I can't help the fire breathers anymore, but maybe someday the vaccine will save lives, assuming anyone's left. If I can make it back to the airport, I could save lives today, or maybe tomorrow, or whenever the battle comes, and it will come. Shit, I can't stay here. It might be suicide trying to make the trip on my own, but I can't turn my back on everyone I care about. Not when they need me the most. Not when I'm the one who failed to play her part in our plan to stop the Scorched before it came to this. If anyone finds this, then get those blood samples, load them into the centrifuge, and run the DNA analysis program. The rest is pretty automatic. Good luck to us both. We must continue on. It is up to us. Analyze blood samples. Error, all required blood samples are not loaded into the centrifuge. Please place samples in centrifuge and try again. So, we need to collect some stuff now. Good old adventuring. Collect a t type T fuse, collect a blood sample from a mole rat, collect a blood sample from a feral ghoul, and collect a blood sample from a wolf. That is what we would do now, and I didn't even notice this picture before. Um, there's people there. I don't know who is who, but uh, we have probably heard their names. One of them might be Maria. Um, one of them might be the doctor. One of them might be Jeff mentioned in there. I don't know. Let's look at the text of this. I learned about the responders inoculation project at AVR Medical. To create the inoculation, I need to collect blood samples from a mole rat, a feral ghoul, and a wolf. I'll also need to find a type T fuse to repair the symptomatic. Well, let's look on our map here and see if uh, we can find anything. Well, good. Luckily, things aren't that far away. Over here, we should be able to collect a blood sample from a mole rat. Over here, a blood sample from a feral ghoul. Over here, a blood sample from a wolf. But where am I going to get a type T fuse? That I do not know. Or maybe I do. Over here, for some reason, there's a type T fuse on the river. Or maybe it's in this building right here. Well, uh, I guess let's get out of here and um, get outside and start collecting samples. I am going to save exploring the rest of this place for when we come back. Because I don't see any reason to uh, explore it further and clear it all out uh, if I'm just going to come back later and have it repopulated again. So we are going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. Um and get to collecting. That is my plan. Um, don't think this is the floor I was on, but... Oh, crap. Ugh, gross. I was going to say, there's probably a... Uh, fusion core here. Okay, let's beat on this rad rush and do no damage at all. Terminal here. Well, I mean, I'm here. <laughs> I don't see why I wouldn't go ahead and uh, open this door. I can even unlock it. Whoa, this one's got long words. Perfect. No likenesses. Okay, so there are no likenesses between perfect and somehow. Oh, still nothing. Towards has likeness with somehow, so it's not going to be towards. Declare has a likeness with perfect. Message also does. Powered has a likeness with somehow and towards. So does no noticed and loyal. Banshee. Um, I think is okay. I don't think it matches. Wait a minute. The H. The H matches. Departs ha has matching. Uh, capital. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> Nope, the O. Sirius. The E. Leaving the E. Related the lead. Dragons. The S. 
Uh, contain the O, destroy the E, slipped. Let's see, slipped match any of them? Well, still no likenesses, really? What am I missing? No likenesses in any of these. Dragons? Nice. Security door control. Open the door. Open the pod day pod bay door, Hal. Oh man, I messed that up. <clears throat> the door is open, and uh, let's see if there's like anything worth getting in here. Well, it was worth it for the duct tape, as far as I'm concerned. Do another supply requisition. But uh, other than that, nothing really super fantastic in here at all. I mean, come on. Where's the good stuff? Jeez. This is, this is nothing in here. And I'm over encumbered. Really? I am over encumbered. And I still haven't, um, still haven't found uh, a bench to see if these um, trays... Uh, I better drink some water. See if those trays are aluminum or not. Um, let us go sort by spoiled. Go down here to the bottom here. <laughs> this stuff isn't spoiled. Got a lot of stuff. Carrying so much food. Look at all this. Okay, so starting here... Here is where stuff is spoiled or not. Yeah, well, my stuff is in really good shape. This is the closest to spoiled, so let's go ahead and have some of this. I'm about to die of dehydration. And I don't think I have anything else. Um, any more liquids. Man, really? All that stuff I make? It's because it's all up here. Gulper slurry will give me... Now that's just for food. And then I got all this tea here. It cracks me up how those soot flowers are so close to spoiling, but now that they're in tea, they're totally fine. Okay, well, I was hoping this would help with weight. But it's not, really. We'll eat this meat steak. It's very heavy. That freed me up a little bit. And these mutt chops are uh, pretty heavy, too. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Carrying too much weight? Eat some of it. Alright. Like I said, we're getting out of here. We'll come back. We will come back. We have no choice. All right, this will take us right back outside. Man, I wish I would have found a bench. That's okay, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I mean, all we're doing is collecting blood samples. How hard can it be? So those of you who are playing this game, is anyone playing this game? <laughs> Those of you who are playing it, how are you managing your uh, inventory and your weight? Somebody told me that there was a, uh, some kind of, I guess, fan-made patch that you could patch into the game to take care of the weight issue, but I don't want to do something like that. Uh, partly because I, you know, I don't want to get locked out of the game, but also because I feel like this is the game. Uh, so in this direction, yeah, let us go over here to this and look for, I believe this is the mole rat. I wonder if I could jump this fence. I probably don't want to jump the fence. There's stairs right here. We'll just take these stairs down. This is looking like trouble. This place here. Let's see if there's a bench up here. Maybe I'll get lucky. 
I did not get lucky. No luck for me. I like how that light is shining up there. Oh, goody. An event. This is a level two nuclear alert. Repeat, this is a level two nuclear alert. Poseidon Energy Plant WV-06 has suffered a critical failure. Hazmat teams are en route. Please remain indoors and await further instructions. Okay, mole rat. I know you're down here somewhere. Hey, there's one. Come here, mole rat. Oh, how am I supposed to collect a blood sample from it? Do I need to hold it down and... Let's see. Mole rat. Um, do I need to kill it? And collect the... Mole rat meat. Oh, collect blood sample. Hold on. Okay. Man, these things are tearing me a new one. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to uh, interrupt your uh, party there. Get out of here. I don't need to fight all these guys. Alright, see you later. Bye! Okay, so we got the uh, blood sample from the mole rat. And... Why are there still... Oh, gosh. Okay, fine. Die. There. You happy now? I'm not even going to bother to collect their meat. That's how mad I am at them. <laughs> uh, now, the ghoul and wolf. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, right over here is ghoul. So let us get to collecting ghoul meat. Ghoul meat. Ghoul blood. Not ghoul meat, ghoul blood. What is up in the air there? I guess that's just probably some... No? Yeah, it looks like those uh, little <laughs> robot things are... What the hell? Okay, this game, I tell you. I mean, it's not like it's the first game they've ever made. You know? And it's not like this is a brand new engine. It's not. So, um, why so many freaking glitches? Oh, darn, I'm going to leave the event. So I need to get around this building. So I can see if I can't... This is going to be the, uh, the ghoul. I think I want to go around this way. So I killed the ghoul, and then I press space to collect the blood sample. And it is getting dark out here. Getting closer. You think the ghoul's gonna be up that ramp? Oh, scorched. Hmm, let's see, let's walk this way. Ooh, big explosion off in the distance there. Well, unfortunately, my recording software has crashed again. It was doing so good for a while, but uh, it actually crashed when I was playing last night, too. I don't know if you noticed, but in the previous episode, it kind of ended abruptly. And the reason it did is because my recording software crashed. It did so again, so we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. We'll come When we come back next time, we'll see where the game starts us off, and we will continue collecting blood samples. Thank you so much for joining me again. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.